Okay, so hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um today I'm going to be filming a pack with me for vacation type of video. So um I'm getting ready to go to Tulum and um I kind of just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've got um for this vacation. So you might it might be something that you might want to purchase. Um some of these things I will be trying out for the first time. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the video. So, I pretty much packed, put everything in my suitcase that I'm going to be taking. As far as clothes, I do have some things that I need to put in there, like, the day of. I don't leave until actually next Saturday. Today is Saturday, um, so I have a week before my vacation. Um, but just to show you guys some of the things that I purchased, um, first of all, I got new luggage. So, I have um, this luggage right here this is like this isn't the smallest one it came in a three um three set a three piece set um and this is by the brand cowpack i've been wanting to try them out for so long as you guys can see it says cowpack right there all right you guys so this is the angle that i'm just going to work with just so you guys can fully see the suitcase all right, so this is the suitcase here. This one is, all right, so you guys can see the size and the weight, 22 by 14 by 9.5. And then it is a 7.9 pound um, weight and a 43 liter capacity. Um, I did leave the um, like original tags in here just because I just wanted to keep everything together. Um, so the exterior features is a zipper front laptop pouch this is the laptop pocket um you have a section on the front end and on the back end um i did use this once um just to go on a like weekend little vacation um it has a zipper pouch right here on the inside as well the inside is navy blue i wish it was black um but either way i still love this color um the color is actually called salmon uh, when i ordered it online i thought it was going to come i thought it was like it does give like a rose gold vibe but when i first ordered it from the pictures it kind of looked a little brown and i was like mm, i don't think i want that um just because i came i had a bb luggage prior to it was a marble print so i'm excited about this new color um but back to the exterior features a durable hard shell exterior so yes it is hard 360 spinner wheels you are able to spin it either way that you like and i'm actually rolling this on carpet so um just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a heads up but it does move um tsa ex um, accepted lock so that's this here and actually you can lock the front and the side um, um section of the suitcase so so you have your lock here and then you just push it down to unlock the front and push it up to unlock the back so immediately before i go straight into the inside as you guys can see right here it has a nice little handle on the side um this is what it looks like on the inside so this is the inside where i usually like in my bigger suitcase i would normally put like my shoes in the side and then zip it up so this zips up this way and you can also zip it right here um, it does have the key, the, the key for you to lock your luggage, which is here, okay, and you can also use that for the other luggages as well. It has two pockets here, which I usually put like socks or toiletries or whatever in this um, section here. Sometimes I put like my toothpaste or whatever on this one. It does have like a little, um, it reminds me of a pencil pouch, so you can put it some stuff in here it just says cow pack here um and then it does have the straps for you to like secure your clothing or whatever it is that you put in the inside so it doesn't like immediately once you open it stuff isn't like all over the place it doesn't fall out and it does have let me set it up so you guys can see and it does have the cow pack logo in the inside here so really really love this luggage it was super um super cute and i feel like it's very functional so i really really love this carry-on because i've never i've never had a carry-on where you can um put your ipad or laptop in the front 
section of your light. So let me actually show you guys what that looks like because I have my iPad right here. So here's my iPad. Close that up. Close this up. And there you go. So this is the luggage. I feel like the lighting isn't giving it the best um isn't doing it really any justice it is like a salmon color it's not as light as it is coming up from the camera again this comes in a three-piece set and i'll be able to show you guys what that looks like when i um put the picture on there so the last thing um i didn't say was it has the calpac logo here it has a um this is the same type of um handle that i was talking about that is on the side it has like a bounce back effect which i really like and then also you know it extends and you know, getting back to some of the things that i other things that i bought um for vacation the first thing i needed was another tripod so this tripod um i got from amazon I'm pretty a lot of the stuff that i bought is from amazon so it has a um detachable thing so this piece is for your actual phone and then this piece is for uh like if you had a camera to put on here because it has like the little center thing that you put on there um but i think for a trip i won't be using my phone because i just don't want to run the risk of breaking any cameras so it does have the three little legs here it can bend you can put post it up however you need um but you guys excuse the way i look i am like at home just chilling trying to pack stuff up i'm actually leaving tomorrow to go to um richmond with my boyfriend um for fourth of july weekend so i just been in the house just like chilling and just trying to get stuff together so up next i have these um travel what do you call them like travel pouches so it came with one two three this one's mesh four this one's mesh it just says laundry pouch and then this one so one two three four so six pieces <clears throat> i bought these because um people were saying like you know when you buy these you pretty much can section off your the items that you're putting in your bag you can actually section them off and um you know so that stuff is not all mixed up my bathing suit stuff doesn't have to be mixed in with my clean clothes and all that stuff so that's how i got these to be able to do that and the reason why i got them in this color because like i just showed you guys inside of my suitcase is this navy blue color um the wording on the pouches is green which i don't mind i really don't care they're just to keep stuff organized because um i don't know about y'all but when i go on vacation i pretty much put everything in um i leave everything in my suitcase because i don't i don't know i don't People are usually like, oh, you know, you're supposed to take this stuff out, put it into drawers and hang it up and da 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 da. But I, because I pack, like, overpack every time I go out of the country or if I go on a trip, period, most of the time I just leave my stuff in there. And the stuff that's dirty, I'll just, like, leave that out. Or, like, if there's a washing machine um, and dryer, I'll, I'm able to just go ahead and wash it and just put it back into my suitcase. So, we got these, which I'm excited to use those. All right, so the next thing that I got, um, I'm going on the trip with me and my boyfriend are going to uh, Mexico. So I got us some of these, um, which you can put your phone into these so that they don't get wet. Um, even though iPhones, they're, you're able to get them wet. But like if we go, I don't know, uh, ATV riding and like there's water kicking up from the tires or whatever, this will be perfect um, just because you can just put them in and they will not get wet so you open up the clamps here on the top and then you simply just it is a little tricky getting open because i'm guessing it's like super it's like trying to be super careful to not get your electronics wet so it just opens like that and you put your phone in the inside and it also comes with these little um what do you call them like lanyard type of things where you can put it around your neck so got these next thing i got let me talk about this so 
I know this looks kind of crazy, but this goes over my suitcase for traveling. Um, I specifically remember the price that I paid for this um, just because this was like one of the main things that I want to make sure I bought for the trip um, because I've had issues with my last luggage, which I told you guys it was a marble color. So it was like white and gray. Every time I got my suitcase back, it would be super scuffed up. And I'm like, okay, I paid a lot of money for this. I don't got time for my suitcases to be looking all beat up. Um, even though the last suitcase I bought was back in, I want to say 2017, 2018. So it lasted me a good amount of time. But with these Calfac luggages, I want them to last for a very long time because this whole set was about 300 something dollars. So I invested in it because I know I'm going to be taking some nice trips, um, you know, from here on out. So just wanted to invest in some nice luggage. So again, this pretty much just goes over and I'll insert a clip of me um, of what it looks like on my suitcase, but this is literally how it looks. And then it has like the Velcro at the bottom. So to be sure that it doesn't come off in the midst of traveling. So yeah, um, the other thing was I got some little booties for t going through TSA because I don't know about y'all, but even when I have my socks on, I don't want my feet on the ground. So I put these on my feet as I'm going through them checkpoints and I can't remember how many come in this pack. Let me see. But I think they were like $5.99 and it, I think it's like 100 to 200 in here. So got those. Also got some face masks. I did open them because I needed some for like right now. Um, 100 comes in this pack. I like the black ones because the black ones just look super sleek and I pretty much just wear, wear them one time and throw them away. So that's why I keep these like in my Amazon cart at all times because whenever I need to buy them, I just go ahead and buy them. So, oh, and I forgot. So the the um, cover for the suitcase was about $20 for, I got, my suitcase is a 30, no, 29 inch. I'm sorry, 29 inch in this one. I got this in a 30 because they didn't have a 29. So I got a little bit bigger just so my suitcase has a little bit of room. It's not too tight and, you know, I just wanted it to fit perfectly so I got a 30 on that next item I got this cute little bag so I got this to go on vacation with um just because like I don't really wear gold that much um I don't really wear sorry y'all if y'all hear my dog in the back barking um but this is pretty much it's so cute um it's like a little bucket bag and it's like got these rhinestones all on it it's so super cute and the straps are like this and you can wear the bag multiple ways like if i wanted to um, put it like this where you know longer strap or whatever but i think i like it with the double straps like that so this is just a little accessory thing this little bag was not cheap i think it was like $30 for this bag so 35 it was between 25 and 30 dollars for this bag so but I was like I don't really wear gold that much but I knew that since I'm going to an island I kind of wanted to give like a little bit of a gold vibes I'm really like a silver girl well I used to be a gold girl but now <laughs> I like silver so um I found these little cheap um matte lipsticks on Amazon as well matte lipstick set by I'm not even going to pronounce it. It's uh, spelled Q-I-B-E-S-T. Um, and it has a bunch of different... It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight lip... Well, excuse me. It has seven lipsticks and it has one like clear gloss. So I got this. I just wanted to try them out just to see how they are. Because I... Y'all, since the pandemic, I have not worn, like, lipstick like that. And I used to be such a lipstick girl. Like, lipstick, mascara, that was my main thing. And, do, like, have, like, a little something on my eyebrows. But now that my eyebrows are microbladed, I don't really have to do too much to my brows. Um, but, yeah, so I want to try those out. The other thing that I bought was this boob tape, okay? This brand, Nippies, um, I guess you can just call them Nippies let's connect at nippies yep so they i usually have their um nipple covers um because i don't i don't know about y'all but i'm not really a bra type of girl i don't really like to wear bras so i would just throw my um nipple covers on and i have them in a in the color caramel and it's i think it's between a and c and then you have like d and up i believe um but i always get the first um size because 
it's like A through B is like lumped together. I mean, A through C is like lumped together and I'm like a C cup, whatever. So I wanted to try out their boob tape. So I bought this um, and this is also in the caramel color. So as you guys can kind of see up against my skin, like with these, you don't really want to show. So like if I wanted to wear a top like this, then I could just, you know, tape, put the tape, you know, tape it some type of way so it can just like, you know, lift the boobs, get the girls together. So I wanted to try this out. I'm, I haven't tried it out yet. So I'm going to let y'all, you guys know what that, um, how that works. Um, so some other things really quick that I ordered, but isn't here yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out because I know that I'm going to be going on vacation tomorrow. Um, so I did buy some more nipple covers. So somebody post, actually my girl, um, Kyra Omanique, I saw that she was using the, um, the nippies, like the nipple covers. So I ended up um, going to Nordstrom and purchasing them as well. And like, I will never go back to any other nipple covers because those are like a one. So just to put the girls on um the other thing that i purchased which is probably like my second favorite thing that i bought out of this um whole like shebang of amazon purchases um is my travel pillow so i've been seeing this all on tiktok i've been seeing it it's like super big so let me <laughs> let me move this back so we can get some space um but i've been seeing this all on amazon and tiktok um so pretty much this is a forward facing pillow so what you do is pretty much okay so it's already blown up right now i'm not going to show you guys how to inflate it um your face goes in like this and you're supposed to be able to sleep on the plane like this or you can put it you know if you want to lay on the side and just put it this way or whatever so i was like oh let me try this because I'm short and I just those other pillows where you just like this like it's just it don't work for me so I don't really get rest so I was like let me try this one this pillow was not cheap either I believe it was like 25 to 30 dollars for this one as well so I'm hoping I get the best use out of it so there's multiple ways that you can use a pillow you can either put your face this way but that's that um and then it's pretty easy to inflate you open this section here blow into it to blow it up and to um let the air out you pretty much open it and then just squeeze it and it's deflated in less than like five seconds so love this can't wait to try this out as well um is that everything that i bought um oh i did buy let's talk about it i did buy some um battery packs for like if my phone is dying while i'm out somewhere on an excursion or something y'all them battery packs so they were super nice but they didn't charge my phone i literally i plugged up so i bought it because it had a c port but it literally did not charge my phone so ended up getting rid of those um sending them back to amazon and yeah so i think my boyfriend has one so i'm just going to use the one that he has and just make sure we have those because we are going to be in another country and I don't want to run the risk of not being able to charge my phone. Oh, I did get one more thing. So the other thing that I got is this other like, little carry-on because I can put my travel pillow in here along with um, my blankets. Because I don't know about y'all, when I'm walking through the airport, I do not like to carry anything in my hand. So this is going to sit on top of my carry-on luggage which I'll probably be taking this one or my other, the middle size one of this and go ahead and just throw everything in here that I need, stuff that I don't want to put under the plane and yeah. So this actually zips up in multiple ways. So let me show you guys. So it's like expanded right here. So you begin to just zip it up. So zip, zip, zip. So pretty much it's a folding type of thing where you just fold it up like this and it immediately expands out into a bigger bag and you can unzip the bottom and it'll be even bigger. So I feel like this will be perfect because like if I'm not using bag, throw it in my suitcase. So I'm going to start packing, um, putting the stuff in these, um, these little pouches. I'm going to start putting these into these little pouches and I will, I'm trying to finish watching Stranger Things. 
So I will just do a time lapse of that and then I'll come back and show you guys exactly how everything is organized and put in very nicely. So I'll be back to talk to you guys. so i pretty much put everything in let me show you all right so everything is pretty much in here as you guys can see i used my packing cubes to put in here i didn't use these two simply because i want to use these for like dirty clothes so these will be my laundry pouches i did use one of the laundry pouches for like my underwear and stuff like that <clears throat> my robe is here on the side um this is like a bunch of outfits that i put together some outfits in here as well and um bathing suits in this one so it actually created a little bit more space than i expected so i actually like i would say these were a good um investment to buy these because like i said i was able to put more stuff in here um these are like dresses and stuff that i kind of just wanted to leave out so i didn't squeeze these into the packages um the packing cubes here are some dresses and then some of the stuff I have color coordinated because um, I have some shoes that are coming that I want to I still want to come back and kind of like match some of the outfits with the shoes so all that stuff is packed away um, I'm not going to put my shoes in just yet um, except for the ones that I'm not going to be wearing right now so I'm putting those on this side so pretty much all packed away um, but like I said you don't as a female you pretty much don't get all your stuff packed in one day because if you're a girl you kind of know like it takes you some time to kind of get everything you know put into your suitcase and done with so because I have a week left I still have time to go back in and kind of just put some stuff in there and like all the necessities and stuff that I need so this is just how it will be for now. And I think I did a pretty good job because I actually bought clothes prior to our Miami trip was back, which was back in um, April of this year. So I've had clothes to take that I knew that I wanted to take because um, I bought stuff for that trip and also this trip. So some stuff in here I haven't even worn yet. Some stuff in here that I have bought months and months and months ago that i still haven't worn yet so i have been more than enough outfits we're staying for five days and um six days and five nights so i'm excited i can't wait to go i've been to mexico before i've been to cosmo mexico i haven't been to tulum and i'm excited to venture out and see what that is about so just trying to make sure everything is where it needs to be the girl does not have to take a COVID test before she leaves or when she comes back. So that's another thing that I do not have to worry about that I'm excited about that I don't have to do. Um, but I still will be having like my essentials, like my Lysol to go, um, my Lysol wipes, um, my mask. Of course, I'll be still wearing those things. So I'm not worried about COVID at all. So everything is where it needs to be. Um, but I just, like I said, I just wanted to come on and show you guys some of the organization and stuff that I decided to do this year for going on vacation because I try to do at least one big vacation a year but I also take other little like you know staycations um maybe go to Miami maybe go to Atlanta you know different little places like that so that is what I have planned um for this year um there was one other thing that I wanted to show you guys hold on let me grab it I have to show you guys um that I purchased. I found this on Amazon as well. It just came today. It does have like a little, it smells like 
seaweed like i don't know if you like ate sushi before it that's like it gives off that smell but the leather is like really really nice and i've been seeing this bag like i think is it bottega that makes this bag or somebody but i don't have a white bag in my collection so i was like this is going to be super cute for vacation and then i also bought this bag as well which just says paris it reminds you of the prada version um but i got this one pretty little thing so that's going as well and then like i said i really love this bag because like how cute is this coming on camera now that i think about it, they are like it is more it's more cream than white so but which is still fine um but like i just bought these glasses as well i got these from pretty little thing they're super cute and i feel like this bag will be so everything and then i also have my little louis hoops let's see that i can wear so like i told you i'm trying to get into the gold um some gold accents i don't have to wear silver all the time but like this is gonna be super cute this is gonna be a look so yeah y'all i am pretty much done i'm going to close up my suitcase now and i'm gonna finish watching some stranger things because i fin i needed to finish up on season four so yeah I, I